Hi everyone, my name is Kay Kaltoff and today I'm going to share with you a card that's made with the stamp set called Field Flowers. And here it is. I've also used a sentiment from Thoughts and Prayers. I really like this. The background that you see behind the front panel is from the tea party, the afternoon tea party paper. And it's a very nice card. It's very flat. It will mail perfectly and it's um, one of the charity cards that my customers did for a local group that sends that sends cards out into the community. And here is the stamp set if you'd like to take a look at it. And now let's go ahead and, and talk about how to put this card together. The first thing that I have is a piece of vanilla cardstock. It's cut at five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. You can kind of see how big this is. And I've gone ahead and folded it and I did use my bone folder already to crease it so it'll lay flat for us. On the inside of the card, I did take a little strip of the Afternoon Tea Party Designer Series paper, a half inch by four inch strip, and I put that down already on the, in the inside of our card. The next thing that I'm going to do is put my Tea Party paper down. I have a three and three fourths by five inch sheet, and I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of our snail on the back of this. The reason I don't use multi-purpose liquid glue, as most of you know, I love that. Um, I don't want the glue streaks to show through. It does show through, not right away, but sometimes within a couple of months, um, it will show through on the other side when you use very vanilla or whisper white. And so now we have that paper down. And now we are going to do some stamping. So the next panel is our panel that we're stamping on. It's three and three eighths by four and five eighths. And the first thing that I'm going to do is stamp our stem. So I have some ink called Always Artichoke. I have my stamp, uh, the stem on a block E. I'm going to ink that up. And I'm going to flip that over. And we're just going to stamp it like this. And now the next step is I'm going to stamp this little bud up here. And so I have, it's a two-step stamp set. And so to help my customers know what to do first, I will often label the back of my block. So this says first step. I don't know if you can even see that. And I have WW, which means Wisteria Wonder. So I'm just inking that up in Wisteria Wonder. We're going to stamp that right there. Then the next one is going to be inked up in Elegant Eggplant. It's the second step. So I'm inking that up in Elegant Eggplant and just going to stamp that right over the top of what we just did. And you can see how that adds some pretty um, color and depth. Now I predict this stamp set will probably be retired. I think it's been in our catalog for a couple of years. Um, so this year, in the re when the retirement list is announced on April 21st, Stamping Up is going to put the stamp sets on first come first serve. Once those stamp sets are gone, they're gone. And so I have a feeling there'll be an ordering frenzy on the 21st, 22nd, 23rd as people realize that. So now what I have is the first step for Wisteria Wonder. Here's the stem. I just drew that in so my customers would know about where to place this on their card. And there it is. Beautiful. That was inked up again in Wisteria Wonder. Now I have the second part of this two-step stamp set. It's, it's the second step and I say S-A-M-J which means use the Stampamajig. So I have the Stampamajig ready to go here. And I always write this side up on it because sometimes with these floral stamps, you really don't know which side of the stamp of a jig you should even use. So I have this set up and I'm just going to put this right here where it belongs and now you can see that it's lined up perfect. Now how I set this up is first I stamped this with uh, stays on black onto the plastic panel. Then I can orientate the plastic panel so it fits perfectly into the floral design. And then I'm inking it up in the secondary color which is Elegant Eggplant and I'm going to put it up here in the corner of the stamp of a jig and stamp downward. And we have a perfectly stamped image. Now this will get real muddy looking. You can see how um, detailed the center of that flower is. So sometimes I don't really care about using the stamp of a jig and I just tell my customers, oh it'll look whimsical. But for this particular stamp set, 
it will not look whimsical. It will just look all muddy in the middle. So this this particular stamp set really does require the stamp a majig to get that that nice clear second image over the top of your first. All right, and now the next thing that we're going to do is stamp the sentiment at the bottom. And I have praying for you. I'm inking that up in elegant eggplant or what is it called? Yeah, elegant eggplant. I keep wanting to call it eggplant envy. That just shows I've been around for a while. There we are. Just praying for you. Couldn't get much more lovely than that. And then we are going to set this right on top of our pattern paper. So I'm just going to ink the back up. I'm sorry, not ink it up. I am putting a little bit of snail on the back. And we're just going to center this in onto that designer series panel. Press it down. And oh my goodness, isn't that gorgeous? I just love it. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day and thanks so much for stopping by Stamping to Share. Bye-bye.